in this tutorial I'm gonna write a sorted transaction processor as well as gonna give some more walkthrough about some codes which can be reused on your code as well so let's start so before that uh, please refer to this official documentation inside this application developer guy and the corresponding SDK here I'm going to use JavaScript SDK so this this building and submitting transaction is what we saw last week so transaction process tutorial so this is the one which we are going to refer for this tutorial so we have to create a node app before that so I'm going to create a node app for this particular application so this will be an wallet application with very basic validation I'll try to implement as much as solution uh, as much as functions in this wallet application I'm going to create create a directory called wallet transaction processor Right. I'm going to install SDK for sorted so that is sorted iPhone SDK we'll need a SIBO as well so if this application is going to handle some kind of objects then better to use uh, any of the decoders or decoders so or you can use json.stringify method to stringify your data and pack it as a json stringify the version then pass it in from the client uh, unpack the stringified version of the json in the transaction process that will do So here I'm going to use CPOR. And I'm creating a first index file. Then library directory where I will store our source code and reusable functionalities as well. So, I'll be referring this tutorial for some methods so, such as decoding or validating where our code so throwing errors a lot. So, please bear with me. So, this is how we are going to start, to start a transaction process. We are going to extend transaction handle class where uh, the apply method is already implemented and this uh, that will throw an error saying this particular method is not implemented yet so we are going to overwrite the apply method uh, then in the parent instance we will be setting the uh, family's version name namespace and then family So let's start. The first one will be wallet underscore handler dot js, and this will extend from sort to this decay. processor slash handler see both 
or in this case I'll just uh, uh, avoid this we'll use stringify json dot stringify or json dot pass so I'll write a decode function for this if in case we want to change the data we'll use the same uh, function with updated uh, decoding method so this method needs to return promise so I'll tell you why in the later session later of the tutorial result I'm just going to recheck this so that's it I'm going to import this function from the library, library folder. So I forgot to export the function. Let's start the code. Class wallet handler generic naming convention extends. Transaction handler. This will implement constructor as well as the apply method. Transaction request. I'll name this variable. Then we will get the context of the code, uh, uh, context of the family instance. So for the first parameter needs to be going to move those values into constant family name. Wallet family. Button namespace. We can either hash the string or family name and then get some six character value, or I can just include or remove. So here I'll name wallet wall fam. Two, three, six characters. So this can be any array, but it uh, it is advised to hash the value and st store the hashed value in this array. So I'll implement that solution as well. Now we'll have three kind of name space. So for this, I'm going to use crypto package inside Node.js. Crypto is def default given as per uh, as part of the node no versions.
sound like a boom. This method we'll be using to create uh, address of the state alix as well. So along with this, I'm going to use this as well. So import the hash function. Hash the family name. Supply the parameters in super function. The namespace has to be in array. So even if we have one single value, um, convert that into an array. Push it in the super method. You should, if you are, we are doing that. The values in the string will be split into array. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to call the decode method for the transaction request. The payload will be supplied in the payload uh, attribute. Okay, so I don't know. This is a promise. We'll get a payload which is unparsed. We'll catch any exceptions at there. I'll throw this as an in value transaction or an internal error. This error mechanism has been provide, provided in the sort of. So it's inside the exception package. Check that issue later. So, throw error while decoding. Payload. So this message will be logged in the Docker image or the service instance, whichever the way we are running the Docker, or we are running the software validator. So let's start validating whether the payload has the functions we needed. So we'll check if the contains action. Doesn't contain that action. We'll throw invalid transaction. Throw invalid transaction. So payload doesn't contain the action type. If the action is present, we'll assign the action to a variable then we'll switch that ok 
case if it's deposit default we throw an exception saying the action is invalid and not supported by this one More granular issue where exception this one is. So if it's deposit, we can make validations or just we can set the value to be whatever it is. So I'll generate an address for this action. So before that, I have to check whether this data contains ID payload dot ID. the ID so we will get six characters we need to be 60 64 characters to be precise So this will be combination of namespace plus hashed version of ID So we'll check this substring. So the ID plus the the ID plus the prefix of the namespace. Prefix as the namespace. Thank you.